Hello growers, welcome to tomato indeterminate tomato cultivation in soilless. You can see the nice uh, soilless cultivation of tomato here, uh, substrate cultivated. Now the crop is uh, almost 90 days. You must have seen in my earlier video. Uh, now you see the plant. The plant was there. It has grown. Uh, uh, it has grown from here. You see, the plant base is there, and it has grown. So normally we ma we maintain uh, 13 to 15 leaves. So we keep lowering. So we keep lowering uh, the uh, plants. So the stem. And uh, this is a, a plum tomato. Normally we keep around uh, fully matured, uh, fully developed four fruits. So these are all uh, late pollinated. We remove them, and uh, each fruit will give around uh, each fruit will give around average of 90 gram. 70 to 90 gram is the average. 70 to 90 gram. This is 90 as on date. This is 90 day crop, and so far uh, it has given around one kg per plant. As on date, this is one kg. If uh, we manage very well. Uh, now there are one, already uh, three trust uh, three trust clusters have been harvested. One, two, three, four, uh, uh, fifth cluster is setting. So normally we get like this around uh, 24, uh, 24 to 28 clusters in a period of uh, nine months. So on an average uh, with this uh, 24 to 28 clusters, we get around six to seven kg per plant. So the advantage of growing tomato in uh, in under polyos is. It does not require huge amount of insecticides, so we need not to spray too much of insecticides because the uh, polyos it is protected, side uh, net is there, and we can protect from diseases. No need to spray uh, any of the fungicides. Insects are under control, and uh, uh, disease is under control. No management is good, and yields are good, and the product is safe to eat. So if you see here, a lot of uh, sticky traps also been used. You can see that that side. The yellow sticky traps, yellow sticky traps have been used, and uh, for the control of tuta absolute pest, tuta sun traps are being used. So the tuta sa tuta sun water traps are being used, and the side shoots are periodically removed. The side shoots are periodically removed, and uh, there is a good continuation and setting. So in general, in tomato we do a tomato under polyos we can plant around ten thousand plants in an acre. So if managed very well, the crop can go up to nine. Last it can la it can last nine to twelve months, and harvest period of seven to nine months. In that harvest period, it is it, with this kind of seventy to ninety gram fruit weight, we get close to around uh, seventy to eighty tons of tomato in one acre. So we uh, only uh, uh, point of attention is we have to train the labor for removal of the side shoots. Like uh, these, these kind of side shoots, as and when the side shoot comes, we have to remove these side shoots. And uh, uh, three leaves in and three leaves out. Whenever there we see the three new leaves, the three three bottom leaves are pruned and it is lower down. Only that is the uh, uh, labor uh, requirement. Other uh, the very other advantage of uh, uh, growing tomato is this product is very safe, safe to heat, and these are all solid tomatoes. I can wash and eat and with no. Uh, with very less usage of insecticide, so that's why uh, uh, polyos tom grown tomato are safe to eat, and one can re really uh, rely on the growers who do uh, tomato under polyos with the uh, uh, with the least usage of insecticides and fungicides, with the usage of good IPM integrated pest management, without using uh, chemicals. So we get good yield, and also continuous is there. There will be a continuous supply uh, of produce uh, to the market. So season wise uh, it varies in Karnataka Maharashtra this can be grown round the year in the places like Punjab Haryana the starting period is September uh, August September planting and can go up to uh, April May so in a nutshell western maharashtra and south interior karnataka we can grow around the year thank you so much